You are listening to 600 Second Saga. Today's feature is Great 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 Grandpa Tangle Star Embers by Efren Miles, a legend of Lord Randall Castle story. Long ago, before humans recorded history on paper, there was an ancient land located to the west of what we now call France. This land had been slowly sinking into the ocean from the beginning of time. Through many centuries, water climbed up the shorelines and washed into low-lying areas, covering the farmers' fields and peasant cottages, separating the single landmass into what looked like a series of islands. Eventually, the pieces of earth covered by seawater dissolved into the ocean, freeing each island from the others in turn, and freeing them all from continuing to sink. The first island that broke away from the landmass became known as Albion. It was later renamed Great Britain. The second smaller island was known as Hibernia. Its later name was Ireland. The third, very small island was called Skilly, but it did not stop sinking into the ocean until it broke into even smaller parts. These smaller islands became known as the Archipelago of Scilly, and each took its own name. Of those islands, only one continued to sink. Its name was Avalon, and its sole mountain was the reason the former landmass could not stay afloat. The mountain was made of druid stone the only known physical substance to house magic. In fact, it was the essence of magic. But magic is alive and fought to be free of its rigid form. The battle within itself caused its life force to become heavy, and heavier as time passed. As the spirit of anyone who wars within himself feels heavier over time. Before Avalon sank completely, it was the home of race of magical people known as druids. It was also the home of many fairies and pixies, wood nymphs, merfolks, and the only dragons to escape the great purge initiated by King Arthur's father. But eventually the water rose too high, and all but the merfolk needed to evacuate. That is when our family came to St. Mary. It is the closest island to where Avalon used to be which means it is the closest to the world's largest source of magic. Because our queen did not want to be subject to anyone, she decided to bring her kingdom here. She had been told that the druids would not settle here because it is such a small island. As luck would have it, though, a single druid family missed the final sailing off of Avalon on its last day. It is fortunate for them that their eldest son was one of Avalon's last dragonlord recruits. Otherwise, they might have been stuck on a desert island for a very long time. As it happened, though, dragon lords were present with an extra dragon to collect their last recruits, and they brought the family to the closest inhabited island, St. Mary. That is when our ancestor, Tangle Star Embers, saw the dragons aflight. He was just a young boy at the time, and did not think to tell an adult that he saw dragons coming. Like many young children, he assumed the adults knew everything, and he did not want to miss his chance to meet a dragon lord. That is a rare honor for most people, even to this day. Great, great, great Grandpa Tangle quickly flew to where it looked like the dragons were landing. But when he got there, they were gone, and the family they had transported was already forgetting them for Lord Randall had cast a spell to protect the dragon lords from being remembered by mortals. The family had forgotten flying to St. Mary on dragonbacks, and could not even remember that one of their sons was a dragon lord apprentice. In fact, they thought dragon lords were childhood pretend, and Lord Randall Castle was just a legend. But that's the way it is with mortals. The spell was designed to make their memories of the dragon lords feel like dreams. As it turned out, great 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 grandpa Tangle did not get to meet a dragon lord that day, but he did meet one later.
because he made quick friends with the family's youngest son, Melador. They asked if he could be their liaison to the Queen of Fairy. The Queen, of course, could not refuse a druid request, so she gave great-great-great-grandpa Tangle an official title. Esteemed Druid Helper. Great-great-great-grandpa loved his title, and he loved the Druid family. They were always kind to him, and he often rode in Melador's shirt pocket. It was during one of those times that Melador's older brother, the Dragon Lord, came for a visit. Tangle was scared at first, but he drummed up his courage and poked his head out of the shirt pocket. That is when he first talked to the Dragon Lord. The Dragon Lord was very nice to him, and even thanked him for being such a good companion to his little brother. And that, my dears, is how your father's great-great-grandpa Tangle became the first official esteemed druid helper to the only druid family here on St. Mary. How he became the liaison between our island's druids and the Queen of Fairy. And how he became legendary as the first fairy after the relocation to personally meet a dragon lord. The end. Now go to sleep, my little star embers, so that you can dream of grand adventures of your own. Perhaps you will dream of dragon lords. Then, in the morning, you can wonder if your dream was just a dream or if Lord Randall's spell of forgetting somehow caught a small fairy in its snare. Good night, my loves. This was Great 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 Grandpa Tangle Star Embers by Efren Miles, a legend of Lord Randall Castle's story. Efren Miles is the pen name used by Christian author Beth Durkee for her young adult fantasy and science fiction works. Durkee is a self-taught storyteller. She learned from listening to stories until she was old enough to read them, and then reading stories until she knew how to competently compose them. A mother of two adults and an ex-military wife, the award-winning author now resides in a distraction-free small town where she happily dreams of stories to relay to readers. Find more information about Beth Durkee, a.k.a. Efren Miles, at bethdurkee.me or at her author pages on Amazon, Smashwords, and Goodreads. Check our show notes for links. Music is provided by Mads. Learn more about 600 Second Saga, our authors, how to submit your flash fiction, and how to support the podcast in the show notes. This has been Mariah Avix and 600 Second Saga.